Hi, I'm Kendall, and today I'll be reading The Langston Dances, written by Keisha Langley, illustrated by Keith Mallet. Langston liked basketball, but he adored ballet. He fell in love the first time his mother took him to see the Alvin Ailey Dance Company. So many bodies soaring across the stage, spinning, leaping, twirling, dancers everywhere. You think I could dance like that? Langston asked his mother. You can do whatever you set your mind to doing, his mother said. From that day forward, Langston practiced in front of his bedroom mirror. Finally, one Saturday morning, he felt ready for his first day of school. Today is the day I dance, he told his mother as he double tied his sneakers. And you can dance to your heart's content, his mother said. On the way to his new school, Langston told everyone he met, watch me dance. He dipped for the mail carrier putting his letters in the box and kicked for the police officer helping them cross the street and spun for the barber sweeping his sidewalk. Langston waited for his applause. Instead, a kid passing by said, boys don't dance like that. Langston huddled closer to his mother, but he replied, they do too. I've seen them. When he arrived at Miss Marie's dance studio, Langston felt nervous. Would the other students like the way he moved? Was he dressed properly in his basketball shorts and sneakers? A gentle push from his mother and Langston set off to find his class. The first room was the class of students learning how to tap. Shuffle, shuffle, tap, tap. Shuffle, shuffle, tap. Langston wandered to the next class. He felt the boom from the music beneath his feet as, as students practiced hip hop dance. Another class of students clapped their hands and stomped their feet, keeping the rhythm, keeping rhythm with the man beating a drum. They were learning African dance. In the last classroom, the music was so quiet, Langston could barely hear it. He watched excitedly as little girls stood in a line along the bar in front of a mirror and practiced the ballet positions as the dance teacher called them out. First position, she called. When the girls moved their feet into the shape of a V, Langston held onto the door frame and followed their lead. Second position, the teacher announced next. When the class slid one foot away, so did Langston. Finally, Langston kicked off his sneakers and darted into the class to take his place at the bar. He closed his eyes and remembered the Alvin Amy dancers. The teacher clapped her hands to bring the class to attention. Langston opened his eyes and realized he stood alone in front of the mirror. Welcome to ballet. I am Miss Marie, said the teacher. I've been expecting you, Langston. Langston took a bow. In this class, we wear shoes. Miss Mary floated gracefully toward a closet. She rummaged through a box and mumbled, no, 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 before explain, exclaiming, yes. She handed Langston a pair of black ballet slippers. They were different from the other student slippers, but he tried them on with delight. They fit him perfectly. Overjoyed, Langston took off running and leaping across the room. He spun and jumped, dipped and kicked. The girls gasped in wonder. Miss Marie nodded her approval. Then she clapped her hands again. This is serious business. You must work very hard to be a ballet dancer. You have to learn, earn those shoes, you know. I will, Langston said, staying taller than before. The class lined again, up again along the mirror and Langston took his place. He promised to work hard in every class. And Langston danced and danced and danced. Thank you for reading this book with me. Bye.